welcome to Adventures with God. Awesome time. Isn't it, isn't it? Mm. This is our fourth one in our still series. It's our last one, Hayley. That makes me sad, but I yeah. think what's going to happen today is going to make me very happy. I think it will. Yeah. This is the Easter special that we're doing, and we've been looking at, and this is our fourth one, we're looking at the story of Easter with our East Ingle. So, Hayley, we have done Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday, that's right. We've done Maundy Thursday with the white and the and red. I still know what Maundy means. And it means? Come on. She's right. It's Latin. Did you know it's Latin? Oh, yeah. look at you. Oh, no. Wow. And last time just gone, we did the heart. God's heart broke. It did. Some really sad things oh, happened. Really sad. Mm. But it was for our good. It was. It was for our good. It was. But the story doesn't end there. I'm excited. This is good. So we have a rainbow sweet. We've got oh. sweets, Hayley. We've got sweets. Rainbow sweet that represents Easter Day. Because something amazing oh, happened. Fantastic story, this one. I love it, love it. Should we get straight to the oh, video? Oh, yes, please. I want to watch it. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day. And ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? Hey oh! Ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Wowzers! Oh my god! Oh, I am so relieved to have that bit of a story done. Oh, that was amazing, Jonathan. It's good news, isn't it, hey? Good news. I tell you what, you get to Good Friday and you think, oh, could things get any worse? And then then you get Easter Sunday and you think, whoo, it's amazing. You want to do a little dance, don't you? You yeah? do. do a, but I, well, I would if I could dance, Jonathan. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen. No. Okay. But I do have, I might not be able to dance, but what I can do is ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind. We'll do my best, okay. as always. I'll try my hardest. Excellent, because as we've said in the other stories, it's really useful in a Christian festival like Easter yeah. to be able to ask a Christian what it means to them. That's right. A person who follows Jesus and reads the Bible and wants to do things the way God wants us to do them. Yes. That's what we are, really, isn't it? That's right. Okay, so I've got you a couple of questions here. Are you ready? Okay, go for it. Okay. Why did the women visit the tomb? Well, they've done that really. I know. When somebody dies, you do. You go and visit the grave. But you see, Jesus all along, when he was on earth, he was telling his friends, the disciples, the women that were the, his disciples' followers as well, that death wasn't the end. Yeah. That he was going to come back alive again. Gosh, that's hard to believe. It, it is hard to believe. True, and and that is what happened. They found it so hard to believe that they went to his tomb to, to mourn, to grieve. Yeah. So, because they forgot, they couldn't remember that Jesus says, death isn't the end, that something amazing is mm -hmm. going to happen in three days' time, he said. 
So maybe it was so sad on Friday that it knocked all those thoughts right out of their heads. I think it did. Yeah. So they were going there to grieve. They they lost their friend. Gosh, little did they know. No. So, I know we talked about this a little bit when we were talking about Good Friday last mm -hmm. time. But it does seem a bit odd that Jesus dying was what was meant to happen. Was it really part of God's plan? Well, that's, that's what a lot of people find really difficult mm. to believe. And I think sometimes as a Christian, we can find it really difficult that, that God was willing to give up his son mm. to die on a cross. But that's what the Bible tells us. And that's what, as a Christian, I believe. You mentioned last time, Haley, mm -hmm. about this space between us and God and all this, this rubbish and trash uh, uh, that, that's in the way, and they needed to be cleared. The Bible calls God, he, he describes him as being holy. Wow. And that kind of means that um, he is super, super duper special. Wow. And it means he's so special that it's difficult when we get things wrong. The Bible uses the word sin. And it, and it yeah. says that when people sin, it causes a barrier between them and God. So you can't really be friends with God then? Well, that's the, that's the sad thing. But the, the good thing is that God doesn't leave it to us to try to get through the rubbish. He says, well, Jesus says, do you know what, Dad? I'm going to clear it for people to get to you. I'm going to go down to earth, I'm going to live as a human, and I'm going to clear that rubbish away. Do you know what I read in the Bible? I read that not only did Jesus come to earth, but he lived a perfect life. He never did any... Can you imagine? I know. Living on earth for 33 years mm -hmm. and never doing anything wrong. I know. And, and that's why... Be because, we can't do that, can we? No, because, using this word sin, he was sinless, he didn't sin. He was the only one that could clear the rubbish away to get to God and form almost like a channel or a bridge. A bridge is a good one, isn't If it? you like, to kind of cross over. And then we, if we want to follow him, can cross over that bridge as well. That's what I decided to do in being a Christian was follow Jesus over the bridge. I decided to do that as well. And uh -huh. it is amazing being friends with God. I, I can like talk it. to him any time I want to. can, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, people sort of leave and go other places and things, but God's always there. He mm. never leaves me. It's great. That's good. That's good. So, I think I know the answer to this question. Okay. I'm going to ask it anyway, just so that we all know <laughs> really clearly. So as Christians, which I am and you are, yes. do we really believe that Jesus really, truly died and came back to life afterwards? Well, yes, I believe it. I but believe it, it too. It takes a bit of faith it to is. believe in that. And some people, some people don't. And that's, that's what they choose to believe. But what I believe as a Christian is that if Jesus... Jesus is also called God mm. as well. He's, he's equal to God. And I think, I believe that God created the whole world. I think that too. I think that he, he can do anything. He, he can because he's a creator God. And if Jesus is also God, then I think that actually he can have control, if you like, to use maybe that kind of word, over death, that, ah. that kind of almost, maybe a strange idea, but that, that Jesus is stronger, or God is stronger than death. Even than death. I know. Wow. And actually, what I believe then as a Christian, and what I celebrate Easter, is that he has the power to do the impossible. So yes, I do believe that Jesus came back to life. And I also believe that he's alive still today, living in heaven Gosh. with God. And we can talk to him when he listens to us. Anytime. That's right. 
Goodness me. Mm. God must love us a whole lot. That's all I can think. Mm, I think he so. Really must. Well, that is the last part of mm. our Easter story. And how amazing was it? We've gone from Jesus coming into Jerusalem and people thinking he was going to fight the Romans and he yeah. did, to the Last Supper with his pals mm. and he was going to end up on the cross the next day and one of his friends betrays him to the actual time of the crucifixion when Jesus dies. And then... Just when it seemed like the blackest moment of all, he comes back to life. It's, it's incredible. What an incredible story. Do you know the words that it makes me think of? It makes me think of the word hope. Oh. That even in the darkest situation, mm. we still have hope because we know God is there. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Hey? Well, yes. we've ended all of our stories mm. this, um, this Easter special with a prayer. Yes. And I think it would be really good to finish all of them on a prayer with this one. Yeah. Don't you, Jonathan? Would you mind yeah. praying for us? Very happy to. Excellent. Very happy. God, we want to thank you that we can have hope. And even as Haley has just said, even if things seem really dark and down and sad, that there is always hope. So we just ask that you may give us some hope, we pray. Amen. Amen. Gosh, that's the last one. It's very it sad, is. really. Oh. But I'm pretty certain that we will be back with another series about the Bible, won't we, Jonathan? I hope so. And we'll take you on some more adventures with God. But until then, bye-bye. We'll bye see bye. you soon. Take care. Bye. Yeah.